through some really trying times and right now it's a blessing that we all can relate and still have room to you know want to push out love for others and which is truly a blessing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me uh, if you can just drop me a couple of lines, even tell me about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you can just, uh, if you're open to tell me about your impact to give how it impacts your life and head you toward the positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gives you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Or even if you impact is really going through some trying times right now and need validation and confirmation towards the life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this beautiful meditation I'm listening to, I'm trying not to go to sleep because it's so relaxing. It says, purify yourself. 852 hertz. Detox your, your spirit. Let go of the negative thoughts and emotions. We all need that. And it's going perfectly with the content of my video today. Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Oka's bounce back because you know the shift is occurring. We do. You know, for us to be going through so much hell, I know you probably tell yourself, because every time something comes at you, left, right, left, right, left, right. I know I do. I said someone must be getting a shift because I'm going through too much hell right now for this just to be, you know, just something just to be working on my nerves. It's like Mother Nature trying to be bullies to us or something. Like, I was just really trying to understand that. But it's just like we've been going through so much. And it's like, last few days that I've been talking to people, even on, um, when I go to cer certain group forums, you know, it seems like a lot of people has been going through so many different shifts right now. It's been people in an emotional roller coaster, having them keep replaying all the painful scenarios in their head over and over and over again. And it's just like, you know, there, you'll probably be times you'll probably sit there and cry like, you know, how, how much longer do I have to constantly keep going through this? You know, why do I have to keep going through this? You know, it's just like, you know, it's like memory patterns keep being very repetitive to you because, like I said before, it's like you can feel like you're over something and all of a sudden it'll bring you back to that file one more time because there's still some, you know, there's still some leftover residue in there um, that needs to be filtered out. And it's just like when Mother Earth is giving birth right now, like I was trying to tell my, my um, soul sister today, I said, with Mother Earth nesting, anybody's a mother and know when y'all were pregnant. I know I did. It was like the last month, it was actually the last month uh, of my pregnancy. I sterilized everything every day. <laughs> I just sterilized everything. I was like, everything's dirty. Even though I had a clean house, I said, everything's dirty. So it's just like, you know, where her nest is with the impasse. So it's just the fact that she's going to filter all unwanted memories. They want you to, you know, if you're going to be thinking about memories, think about something that's going to bring you joy. Think about something that's going to raise your frequency, make your mood brighter you know allowing yourself to do things that excite you um being able to do all these different things that actually you know makes you feel like you're, you're being good because it's like when you go through some traumatizing stuff it always meant to me it always made me feel good when i'm doing nice things for other people and it's not to benefit me but it's just to make me see that you know what i gotta constantly keep on dealing with this stuff right here not just to push it aside but come to terms with it and then move on because sometimes it's hard to do that when you're going through different things and i can admit that with myself you know there's sometimes when i feel like i'm over something and i'm thinking i'll be all proud of myself ooh, like oh goodness thank god i'm over this and next thing you know a week later pow, i said oh gosh you back again like a bad rash you know just like you, know, you really want to just deal with it and part ways with it you have to really just part ways with it not engage with it keep playing it in your head you know i have to tell myself okay this can't no longer affect me ego so why do you keep bringing this up 
and it's just like you know when it's just like when people even it's like even if you're at a job especially with your hell because i already know y'all don't probably went through this before when people see you on the verge of a promotion and they're already hating the fact that you're about to get that promotion they're like oh what did sally have to do to get that promotion i've seen people get like that at my job and i over here don't say nothing because it is not pertaining to me <laughs> you know, mm -mm, this ain't got nothing to do with me. And they used to get mad because I wouldn't get into the drama when stuff like that happened. So it's just like when people see that you're you're getting blessings or energy or negative energy or even darkness sees you getting something, they're gonna always throw something in the mix. Just to you know, just to rattle your chain a little bit, like, oh, you know, God and devil, I told you playing it on the playground and God's like, Oh no, not my child. They ain't gonna go through that. It's a ha watch this i bet you if i throw this in the mix they'll they won't be your child that long you know it's just like the devil and god be running bets on each other be poor little <laughs> poor little dag on um impasse we be going through it playing with them but it's just the fact is it's like now you're gonna say enough is enough and you you know you only can play that pity party with yourself so long till you just say you know what something gotta give either you gonna leave or i'm gonna leave and i know i'm about to leave here but you're gonna leave me alone you know, you're at that point where you're just tired. You're tired. You just go face it, deal with it, and let go because you're really trying to get to that next level. And you can't allow your past memories, certain situations, even if it got something to do with people. It, I mean, because it's like right now, you already know. If they're having you cut cords from people or they having you turn your back on people or people are ghosting you right now it's because they weren't supposed to be in your life like that anyway sometimes like i've said before sometimes we have a bad habit of putting lifetime expectations on seasonal people stop doing that when you see red flags coming up and stuff like that they talk to you when it's convenient for them or when they're talking to you they're asking more about your business and leaving less of theirs out you know it's all those different things that they're you know the circling around it's just like devil's busy so it's just at that time when you start noticing the red flags now it's, it's just like you're not you're not even answering questions it's just like when it comes to me and my situations universal send me a, like a mental image of the person that they need persons or people whatever that i need to go ahead and cut out my life i don't even ask them but what i like them and i'm mm -mm, okay click block I don't even ask no questions because it's just like obviously they know better than you do you know you don't know what's going on behind closed doors you don't know what people are plotting against you especially if they see you on the verge of the rise they're going to try to make sure you down all the way you know and the worst thing you want to do especially with somebody who hates you at most is even smile in front of them that's enough to make a man so you have to keep doing you you're bouncing back like that bouncing ball like oh no i'm uh -uh. i'm awake i'm good i'm done you know you're at that verge so you need to congratulate yourself because it's at that point now you start to catch on it's just like you can be really in a place to move that day and it only takes that one trigger or one of them old memories just to pop back and have you right back five paces back i know you know it took about 20 but then they had you back five you know five paces back and that's just disappointing in yourself when you see that red flag and it's like dodgeball you see that ball coming like oh no nah, not today jump up in the air trying to you know back in school when we all used to play dodgeball i remember doing that in gym and they used to they were like rosin you must got your butt whooped a lot a lot yep i sure did because i was dodging the heck out of that ball i'd be probably the last one sitting up here <laughs> about to get my about to get hit so it's just like you know you're bouncing back you know you're rising you're heading towards that next level you've been going through so many ascensions you've been going through back and forth and dark night of the soul kundalini is just done come quite out and spiritual awakening you probably got freaking fire miles so it's just like you know you've been on this boat so many times you should already know what to expect so you keep doing you you keep working on you pushing out positivity keep your thoughts positive i have to keep telling myself that keep your thoughts positive because right now you're you're manifesting so much right now and it does not have to have that negative thought that nothing can be changed because that you have to tell yourself in the middle you got to psych yourself out when a negative uh memory comes back if you already know this is a past situation there is no nothing you can't change the past it already don't happen but if you know you got certain things out of your life don't keep reliving that i have to keep telling myself that leave it alone 
<laughs> leave it alone even though ego wants you to bring it up again you can't change it and if it if it has something to do with people if the people ain't in your life no more stop thinking about it and if it's bringing up a painful situation that these people did to you that's letting you know you need to cut them out your life no questions asked just block them you ain't got to tell you don't have to explain to people when they, especially when they know they're doing something don't explain nothing just block so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video hope y'all have a blessed blessed night um like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love a chance to hear from you and share give me a thumbs up it will be greatly appreciated i will go ahead and give a post notification shout out to with expectancy and treasure seasons and empress earth angel much love to you and i'll see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and i'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wild